my first memory of the hill fort is going down um, the lane by Heritage Drive. There's new houses by there, and walking up this really steep hill with the dogs. And we came across um, the St Mary's Church, and that's my first memory, just not really knowing what it is and where the hill fort is. There's like a the farmers, it's a farmers field, so we just thought we're not allowed in. <laughs> Growing up in Ely was fun, street parties, um, youth club up in the wreck. Me and my sister used to teach dance to all the young kids. Every year they have fireworks display, which was always fun to go to with a barbecue and stuff going on up there. Um, used to get a lot of bullies and I used to have to stick up for my brother and sister, so I was always busy there. <laughs> first memory of Kyra? Uh, that's a very difficult question. I started working here, no, I, my first memory of Kyra, I was working for Bernardo's and I was about 24, so it was about 15 years ago and I was based on Kyra Lane and it's changed a lot since then. What I remember, one of, one of my few memories from that period was how often car windows used to get smashed on the street outside our office in broad daylight and people used to take things from the front and it's not like that at all anymore so it's changed a lot so I remember being in Ky on Kyra Lane in a little upstairs office um, just getting to know the place and little did I know that I'd end up living here and being a community worker here First memory was just coming up here to look at the hill fort um, to see what it was like and then looking over Cardiff and thinking this is the most amazing place in Cardiff. My first memory of Kyra was as a little girl, probably seven or eight or nine, something like that. And we would all be walking from the Church of the Resurrection on Grant Avenue, all up the lanes and the fields, because there were no houses built then. And we'd all want, walk up the lane, up the hill, to the service in St Mary's. And we couldn't believe it. It was such a tiny little church after the big church of the Church of the Resurrection. And we thought it was fascinating as little children to see this tiny place. And we have a link with the family because my husband's grandfather was church warden there at, at the time, many years ago. So that was lovely to think I was going into a little bit of my husband's family as well. Well, I'm very involved in the digs. Um, we've been coordinating them. Um, what I love about the digs is they're bringing everyone together from the community and the university to, to really sort of dig down to find this amazing past, this amazing heritage of this site going back 6,000 years. I think I can pick out a single find because each one is part of the jigsaw puzzle um, that tells the story of this place. Um, this is my first time working on the on the dig. Um, my part with working on the dig is the community engagement part and making sure people are okay and doing making Iron Age pots and that's about it really. <laughs> what I enjoyed the most was uh, finding stuff that would would that you wouldn't be able to find before, like in giant just piles of rubble and stuff like that. I like to find some old Roman things because I'm interested in stuff like that. The best find I ever found might have been I found the nail from a Roman building before last year. The best one was when a kid found an arrowhead. That was an awesome find. It's really good. My what I have enjoyed most is um, how enthusiastic everybody is about their local community having something a little bit exciting going on. It's nice to have Kyra having a positive um, asset to it. It's, 
that's, that's what's nice. That's my favourite part. Yeah, I have con some concerns about the hill fort and the St. Mary's Church, which is based on the hill fort. I, I suppose the church is the most obvious um, visual example of somewhere that's damaged through vandalism, um, particularly at the moment. It's had some, some recent damage done, which has been quite disappointing, really, because I think over the last few years it's, it's generally been getting better. So I have concern some concerns about the future of the church, which is a, an iconic sort of landmark, but more broadly about the hill fort being underappreciated, I suppose. I think it's been ignored for a long time. Um, it's clearly, uh, many of us didn't realise this until the Kai Heritage Project developed, but it's clearly a very important place with, a, with an incredibly important history uh, for South Wales. Uh, and it's a great shame that it's kind of sat there uh, in a place like Ely and Kyle, which needs this kind of activity going on and, and hasn't received the interest. So I, I, I'm, I'm concerned that that's been the case, but I'm very excited about the, the, de the developments in recent years and the direction things are taking, and I think it's got a bright, much brighter future. Um, it's open and you feel free when you're up there because it's very peaceful as well and you can imagine it in the night with all the stars. We were trying to get um, a concert, like an, a band or something up there in the summer but we don't know whether we'll be able to do it or not. Last, last year there was a hog roast and that was lovely, it was really nice. It just gets under your skin. It's just a place that has an amazing atmosphere. There's a sense that people have been there for, for thousands of years into deep time. It's beautiful to look at. It's open. It's, it's you know right by the urban sprawl of Cardiff, and yet you're out in the countryside, and the views are amazing. But it's just a wonderful place, and I always love going there, and I'm always glad to be back there.